Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to looking at new Tesla connector changes everything in the car industry. Get the inside scoop on the latest news and trends in the car industry. On this channel, we provide you with up-to-date information on the new Tesla connector and what it means for the future of electric vehicles. Before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. New Tesla connector changes everything in the car industry. Get ready to spend an extra $400 for your next Tesla purchase. Tesla no longer provides a home charger connector with any new Tesla Model 3, Y, S, or X. Even car buyers already waiting for delivery will receive a Tesla without a basic, level 1 charging unit included. Over the weekend, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed the change sighting. Usage statistics were super low, so seemed wasteful. So every Tesla EV, which starts at just under $47,000 for the base Model 3, will scrap the included connector, which had a $275 value. The removal was effective immediately for all cars delivering after Sunday. After the connector was abruptly discontinued, Musk later announced a price reduction for the 110-volt home chargers from $275 to $200. Musk posted on Twitter, Based on feedback received, we will lower mobile connector price to $200 and make it easy to order with car. Charging your Tesla at home For everyone who wishes to charge at home, Tesla now demands an add-on purchase from the Tesla online store, same to how Apple discontinued the iPhone power adapter and wired headphones with every transaction. However, as of Monday evening, both of Tesla's two charging options were sold out. The Tesla website lists both the slower Gen 2 mobile connector bundle, $275, and the speedier corded mobile connector with an NEMA 1450 plug, $400, as being out of stock. There aren't many options left for charging at home. It is still possible to purchase Tesla's speedier level two charger, a $495 wall hookup that needs to be professionally installed. In Ford's wheels ranking of the best home EV chargers for 2022, there are also non-Tesla chargers from companies like ChargePoint and others. Tesla drivers can refuel while traveling at Supercharger, Destination Charger, and other public charging locations that are a part of the Tesla network. Why make charging harder? In making this choice, Tesla became one of the few EV manufacturers to stop including a home charging plug that can be plugged into any standard wall outlet. Additionally, the home charging plug is absent from Kia's EV6. According to Auto Pacific industry analyst Robbie DeGraff, this can be a huge problem for the first-time EV customer who may be waiting to build a level 2 charging station in their garage but still want to drive home an EV today and plug it in until then. I truly hope other established automakers don't adopt this strategy. Making the procedure as simple as feasible is necessary if we want to welcome people to EVs as a whole. On Twitter, a lot of Tesla owners express their anger with the changes to charging. Some complain that the removal discourages the use of EVs, increases range anxiety, and increases reliance on network charging stations. Others suggested providing a discount and opt-out option for individuals who don't require or desire the slow home charger. Given that level 1 charging cords aren't much of a cost at all to automakers to add to a vehicle, even for Tesla who we know obviously isn't short on cash at the moment, DeGraff called Tesla's decision a strange one. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed about new Tesla connector changes everything in the car industry in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.